Hi guys, my name is Bilal. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of BNB Group. Uh, we are a global player in the uh, Mediterranean sweets, chocolate, bakery ingredients, and healthy food and snack space. Uh, we started in 2007, and today we are over 1,000 people in the UAE, uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Spain, the UK, and the US. So my favorite question is, do you focus on the top line or on the bottom line? And my favorite quote came, uh, uh, was shared by a friend of mine who said that revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, and cash is reality. So do you focus on your top line or do you focus on your bottom line is the big question. There's no doubt that when you're an SME and you're growing, it will take you some time to become profitable. But the question is, are you trying to disrupt? Because the question of disruption today um, based on all the new emerging, emerging businesses is burning money in order to increase your revenue with no hope of ever becoming profitable. So the question is, how do you measure if that business is successful or not? And to me, success is sustainability. Is your business sustainable? And the only way I can see a business being sustainable is if you become profitable. Turning profitable might take you months, might take you years. There's always a roadmap. That to me is a, is a good disruption. And that will force you, if I look back at, you know, through the years of when BNB started growing, we always had it in mind that we wanted to be profitable, but we never focused so much on the bottom line. And in recent history, through mentors and Endeavor, we started focusing more on how do we how do we increase our margins, how do we decrease our overheads, and what that did was create a lean organization that can go through. As a as a very nice talk I watched recently said, if you know if you get sick, it's not because the weather has changed, it's because your immunity is weak, and so the question is how good is the immunity of your business today? Increasing the immunity of your business means putting in the right uh, structure to be profitable. And with that comes sustainability. With that, it's what you owe your employees, your suppliers, your clients. And it's, it's what adds to the economy of a country. I would say lessons are one, have a roadmap to profitability. Two, make sure that your organization is as lean as possible. And three, define what does disruption mean in the industry you're in. Because at the end of the day, success is measured by, as you disrupt an industry, being profitable, being able to be sustainable, to pay your suppliers and your clients, and to keep growing the business. So today we live in the age of abundance. When we started, we had to go to the banks to raise money. However, today you see that there are a lot of VCs and PEs willing to fund SMEs. The big question is what do they look for? And I think that they're more focused now on whether a company can be profitable. We went through a phase where, you know, re focus on revenue was key. And I'm not saying you, know, you do not need to focus on that revenue to hit that bar where you do become profitable. However, investors want to see a roadmap today on how do you turn profitable. And so focusing on that from day one means you have much more access to capital, which is what every entrepreneur today focuses on.